Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mariam, and today I thought I would do something really fun. I'm going to show you guys my Black Friday haul. Now, of course, I was really, really contemplating this. I was like, is this a good idea? Is this maybe not a good idea? It's the middle of a pandemic. And people may not necessarily want to spend their money on clothes and that kind of stuff. Uh, just basically overall, a bunch of reasons why I was like, Maybe I shouldn't do this and maybe I should do this so eventually I did decide to do this and before I get started on my Black Friday haul I wanted to mention two things that's four two things first of all I wanted to mention that this awesome scarf is given to me by Haya Designs Co you should definitely go ahead and check them out I think I'm gonna put like a video or something up here they sell hijabs merchandise and I hear they're coming out with some really cool new things um, I may even have a collaboration coming up with them. You should definitely check them out. They are so sweet and I think their products are so amazing. And on top of that, the second thing that I wanted to mention, the sec second thing, <laughs> the second thing that I wanted to mention was that I am showing you guys my haul. Um, but I, I did want to mention that like while I am a college student and I do have a job I did take a small percentage of my paycheck over quite a few months to save up for this and I do this like I mean I go shopping throughout the year but I don't buy like expensive things and I don't buy a lot of things and I save up for Black Friday just because I know that I'm going to see all these deals and all these sales and all this stuff for such an amazing price and I'm gonna to wanna to buy it. So I personally just like to do the bulk of my shopping on Black Friday rather than like throughout the year. And that's just me. And it's not like my mommy and daddy are paying for everything and stuff. Like I use my own hard money, earn money to buy all of this and I'm really happy with my purchases. Some purchases I'm so, I'm, I'm not happy with. Ooh, sorry some purchases I'm not happy with but I just wanted to show you guys what I got and there are still some sales going on if you do want to go ahead and cop some of this merch I need to mention I also wanted to mention that I thought it would be really fun to keep this scarf on just to show you how cozy it is and how functional and like great it looks um, throughout this whole video um, to shout out Haya Designs Co and definitely go and buy their scarves and their merch and everything else. I know I just said this, but but honestly like I just feel so beautiful in this. So, I'm just going to keep wearing it for the rest of the video. Hashtag what? Hijabi girl Black Friday haul. That's what we can call it. Now, I'm not actually a hijabi, but I just think it would be fun to wear it for the whole video. You guys probably think I'm crazy now, so I'm going to keep going with the haul. <laughs> okay. So like literally I have so, okay, I'm trying not to show you my address, but like so much to show you. This, this, and, and this, <laughs> like a lot. So let's get started. That's the first thing that I could go ahead and start with is from Victoria's Secret. Now um, I have a fluffy robe. I had a fluffy robe for quite a few a while I don't think I had my own fluffy robe ever I had like a hand-me-down for my sister and it was all cloudy and blue and cute and everything but I was just like you know I am 22 years old I do not need a cloud child looking robe so I decided to get this new one from Victoria S Victoria Secret by the way not Victoria S I just I play around with them like Vicky S Vic S Victoria S What's the secret anyway, man? <laughs> but that's besides the point. So this cute little thing, and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap it. I didn't unwrap any of the stuff, and I didn't, like if anything was like wrapped really nicely, I did not undo it, because I was like, I have to wait to do it with everybody. So you guys are lucky, because I was almost about to unwrap it, but I didn't. I wanted to save it for everybody. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this, or I guess not unwrap it, but like just take off the the little cute satiny thingy and I'm gonna just undo the cardboard that it came in and it's super 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 cute so this is it oh it comes with like this stuff I guess I'm gonna take it off here's another one <laughs> um oh okay sorry so this is the robe it is very very fuzzy material if you can like kind of see very fuzzy material and on the back I thought it was really cute it said 
like Victoria's Secret. I'm gonna put like a video in here somewhere so you guys can see. So this is really handy in the winter, like in the, in the mornings or when I'm like studying or just walking around the house. Uh, we don't in my house necessarily keep the temperature like warm all the time. Most of the time we're not walking through the house. We're all in our like perspective rooms. So we have a heater in our rooms and those are warm. And then when you walk outside, like into the hallway or downstairs or some someplace, it's not warm because we just don't keep the temperature warm. So this is very, very good for me. And I also have fuzzy shoes and everything, but I did not buy that. So I'm just not gonna show that because I didn't buy that. Okay, the next haul that I did was from Vineyard Vines. And Vineyard Vines is really awesome in the sense that I like their t-shirts. And their t-shirts can be like anywhere from like $48, $50. But on Black Friday, they came on sale. And I'm the kind of person that really likes to wear t-shirts like just for fun. Like, you know, when you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt or something like that. Um, I like to wear jeans in a t-shirt um, sometimes when I'm like going to college or just like going to chill and stuff like I don't necessarily like to dress up all the time and so when you get like a t-shirt from someplace that you volunteered or something like that I mean they're nice and stuff but they don't last very long so I feel like in your vines t-shirts do last very long I feel like these are really like aesthetically pleasing and I wouldn't say elegant but they just look nice and they just go with everything and I like the whale. I think whales are really cute. So I just bought four t-shirts from Vineyard Vines and I waited for you to open them. So, oh, actually I opened this one. <laughs> I opened this one. Um, but basically, this is what the t-shirt looks like. It's just a plain t-shirt. Where to put half this stuff. Okay, so it's just the plain t-shirt. So this is the front side and then on the sleeve it says, vineyard vines like this by the way they don't i i did whatever research i could do and look into just going to jump in here and give you some proper background knowledge before the haram police attacks vineyard vines started back in 1998 by two brothers shep and ian murray they quit their jobs and started at the company selling ties about 22 years later here they are ever so successful with the brand valued at one billion dollars they name it Vineyard Vines because they spent a lot of time as kids at Martha's Vineyard. They solely sell various types of clothing and accessories. So yeah, it has a whale on the back and this is just their classic t-shirt. So another t-shirt that I got, that I'll show you. I also got this this same thing in pink. So I'm not gonna open it, but I'm just showing you like the same thing in pink. And actually, you know what, I'll open it for you. I'll, open it. I'll wait it, so I'll open. And they fold it so nicely. I like that. So they put like this paper on it, ooh, paper, and then you have the same thing in the front with the whale and this one in the back. I think this one was supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month for October. Um, so they still had a few t-shirts left, so they were selling them. But um, the, I also got a seasonal one, which is like, let me show you the seasonal one. I think it's the whale uh, skiing or snowboarding or something, which I think is really fun because I like that. And I also like to have their full sleeves t-shirts because I, I just find them more comfy and I don't, I like half sleeves to a certain extent. But yeah, same thing, same packaging. And then they fold it so, so, so nicely like this. And basically, um, you have the whale, uh, oh, this is, I think snowboarding, yeah. And then in the back, the whale snowboarding as well. And so I love their winter themed t-shirts and everything. That's really cute. And yeah, that's all I got from Vineyard Vines. So just four shirts and I got a gray one as well. Um, if you're really lucky, you can fit into the extra large in Vineyard Vines Kids. And those t-shirts are significantly less expensive. And so I think that if you are interested in something like that, um, they are definitely very, very cozy shirts. Do have a couple of their Shep shirts as well. I didn't, do, I didn't buy that this Black Friday, but um, I think those are nice as well and definitely nice to throw on when you just don't want to put much effort into your dressing. The next haul is my absolute favorite haul. I feel like this company should sponsor the Ahmed family because we just shop so much there. Um, but it is American Eagle and I have two packages from American Eagle. What's the other package from American Eagle? 
Oh. I have, sorry, I'm trying not to show you the side with my address on it, but I have two packages from American Eagle. Basically, I feel like their clothes overall are just so comfortable and their jeans are so comfortable. That's initially what got us attached and attracted to American Eagle was their jeans. And it wasn't just the jeans, it was the idea of patched up ripped jeans. So um, for uh, people from my culture, I'm Pakistani and people in my religion, I'm Muslim. We don't like, so some people don't show their legs, some people choose to, That, but my belief is that we shouldn't show our legs. And so I really like the idea of ripped jeans and they would sell, um, sometimes they would come out with patched up ripped jeans. So it would be like uh, jeans and then you would have like a patch in the jeans and then it would be like ripped. So it's not showing your skin, it would just be ripped on like a cloth of the jeans and they looked really really cool i'll show it to you in another video but i think that that was a great place to go that's a great place to go and buy patched up ripped jeans and so after i bought one pair of those my sister and i were like oh my god these are so comfy and so we just keep buying jeans from them and that's not like every year but essentially like most of our jeans are from american eagle and then we just kind of narrowed our way into buying their sweaters and everything else which I think they have great sweaters. And if you have sensitive skin, if you're like allergic to wool, I'm allergic to wool. I feel like this is a great place to go shopping for sweaters because they're soft and they don't, they're not, I don't like get a rash or I don't get irritated. Sorry, I'm like, I thought there was a bug in the ceiling. I don't get irritated from their material. And so I think it's really great. So I got two sweaters. Um, and I forgot what these are called. Picture or something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say what, or maybe it does. I don't know. So I got two sweaters. I'm gonna show you the sweaters. So again, I waited for you guys before I opened the sweaters. I think my dad opened one. <laughs> um, so these are called. It doesn't say, but these are like the waffle knit sweaters. I think that was kind of their name. Okay, so. Basically, I bought the waffle knit sweater, and if you can kind of see, like here, this is the sweater, and it's got very nice material, so this is the material, and it's really soft. So there are some sweaters that look like this that could be a little bit more rough, and I prefer the soft ones. And so I know like if I go every year to American Eagle and look for their sweaters, I'm gonna get them soft. The, I didn't even have to go to the store, I just knew, and so I ordered it online. Now, don't get me wrong, they do have some like rough textured sweaters, but I prefer the soft ones and I knew exactly what I bought a couple years ago. My first waffle knit sweater from American Eagle and that's lasted me like three years. So I think this is a good, good investment and they were originally like 50, 55 dollars and they were on sale for 35, which sounds like a lot, but I feel like since they last you a long time and they're so comfy, I made the investment in that. And so this is the olive green one and I just think so cutesy. Um, and let me find the other one. This one is the gray one that I bought. So, this one. The gray one, and it's kind of like a light grayish color. I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can see. So, it's a light grayish color, and it's pretty long, so I think that's nice, and it's just like oversized. The first one that I bought wasn't oversized, so I think that's kind of cool that this is oversized, and I can't wait to wear it because. It is, it feels so comfy. And then the third thing that I bought from American Eagle was a pajama set. And this is like the first time I thought, I was like, should I really buy a pajama set? Because honestly, I just wear flannel PJs and a t-shirt, like a cotton t-shirt from like somewhere I volunteered or something like that to bed. But I was like, okay, this looks so comfy, looks so cute. And it has penguins on it and I waited for you guys to open it. This is the package that I wanted to open the most, like forget everything else. Um, I waited for you guys to open this and so I'm just gonna open it. And it has cute little penguins on it. On their website, they also have this Mulan one that they did a collaboration with Disney this year, I believe. And they have one with a tiger wearing like a Santa Claus hat and some like other really cute ones, but I wanted this penguin one. It has cutesy little penguins on it. And I thought that's just the cutest thing ever. And they wrapped it in a bow and everything. And, and this is just so, 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 so cute. I have not opened it yet, so let me see what it looks like. So I think they folded it into like one sweat night suit piece. Oh, and they all come with matching socks, but you have to buy the socks separately. 
so I did not buy the socks because I don't really care. But um, this is the sleeping suit and it is so cute. This is the shirt and this is, these are the pants. They're kind of like tight pants, so like you can kind of treat them like tights and I got a size small. Yeah, I got a size small and just look at the cutie little penguins. Oh, so adorable, so adorable. Um, and I like the bottom that they have this cuffing at the bottom. I like PJs like that or just um, sweatsuits like that in general. And so I thought this was nice. One thing that I do want to warn you about American Eagle and Aerie is that if you get really like soft things, especially from Aerie, like um, fuzzy tights or fuzzy pajamas or something like that, you want to be careful with the wash instructions because I did get fuzzy tights or pajamas or something like that. I don't even know what they're called, but it was like soft and nice and stuff. At, like at the beginning, like this is very, very soft. And I think I put it in the dryer and you're not supposed to put it in the dryer. Um, so it be it didn't become like not soft anymore at all, but it just became less softer than it was. And when it when I first bought it, it was so soft. Like I was like, how can something be this soft? And so when I put it in the dryer and then I wore it again, like it was still soft, but it wasn't as soft as it was before. And I was like, you want to keep the softest. Let me just say that. And so be careful and make sure you really read the wash instructions for like the tights and the fuzzy things. The sweaters, you don't have to worry about it. I just wash them and I put them in the dryer, all good to go. But um, with like soft things like this, and especially if they're from Aerie, um, you want to you want to make sure that you're following those instructions so you can keep the quality of your product the same as when you bought it. Yes, that is my lecture on washing clothes. So every Black Friday, I if I don't get anything, my one rule is I need to buy at least like one pair of jeans if I really need it. Um, and so uh, I think over the past three years, I've just been building my collection of jeans. So it consists of ripped jeans. Um, and then you have your different jean colors. So like light wash, dark wash, medium wash, black. And so um, I think two of my jeans, they were kind of getting a little like raggedy and worn out. I think I've been wearing them for like four years. And so I had to throw those out and get new ones. And so um, originally like uh, American Eagle, they sell their jeans for like 50, 60 dollars. Sometimes it can even go up to like 65, 70, I think. And I think that's pretty expensive. So even during throughout the year, they'll have like the whole, through the whole entire year, they'll have the sale of buy one jeans, one pair of jeans, get the second pair 50% off, which I think is still kind of expensive. But when it comes time for Black Friday, their jeans can go down to like $23, $25, which is something that I'm actually willing to pay for jeans. So I, I definitely buy my jeans then. If they're, uh, before when I had the craze for patched up ripped jeans, I think I did pay like $65 for my first pair of patched up ripped jeans. But once I got that out of my system, I was like, I do not think that we should be paying that much money for a pair of jeans. So I did buy, um, I think this is the, this is the medium wash jeans and they're just regular skinny jeans that you can wear with anything. Um, so I definitely like these. From this video, you can't really tell much about them, but I think that if you were to go to American Eagle and like try them out for yourself, you would be pleasantly pleased with the jeans. And this is the second one. This is the light wash that I got. Um, oh, it's called Next Level Stretch. And one thing that's really awesome about their jeans um, is that they're high rise. So like, it'll like cover your waist as well. And I, I just think that's more comfortable. When I was younger, I was like, it is so lame to wear high rise, but it is so comfortable to wear high rise. So who cares about lame? We wanna be comfy guys. So this is the light wash jeans. And um, I got these for, I think both of these, uh, one each pair was like, I think 23. One was 23 and the other one was 25. So I think that is great and they last you I think three years, four years, you should be good with your jeans. Got this jewelry from Ana Luisa and it is this new company. It says, smaller packaging, less waste, more love, which is really, really cute. Um, and it's this company from New York, Ana Luisa NY. And one thing that I really like is that they didn't 
go all out in their packaging and while yes I do love a very cute amazing package it makes you feel great inside and stuff we do have to consider the environment and so they made this from 100% recycled paper please continue to cycle so I will of course recycle it on Elisa and um, they just gave it like this which I think is very wonderful and you're not going extravagant we need to worry about the environment while having fun with our jewelry and whatever it is so yes so basically they gave it like this and I love these cute little button pouches so I'm just gonna open up the first one I keep forgetting the names of things so I'm just gonna put put it like up here somewhere but um, basically this is um, I, I already opened these because I was very very excited about them um, other the good things about their company is that they've reduced their carbon emission I think to like zero by the end of 2020 and they use recycled gold to make all of their jewelry. Now, I don't think that their jewelry is completely real gold. I think it is a metal with gold plating and it does not rust. So that is really, really awesome. And when I was shopping on the website, I, there were these like really, really big pictures of all the jewelry and everything. And when I got it, I saw like it's really, really dainty. If you can see it like right here, this is really, really cute. And really really dainty and so like when I put it on my hand I'm not gonna tie it right now but it just looks very very like dainty and I love the idea of stacking this um, and it definitely has like the tag and so this is the bracelet and it comes like wrapped in this and each jewelry has its own pouch and the second piece that I got it was actually to stack this because I was I like the idea of stacking like the bracelets um, is in this blue pouch and this one they put in like a little baggie so this is the tag by the way it's Ana Luisa with an A and beautiful things and this is the jewelry that they put in this little package right here And this is the this is the chain and again it is very very dainty as well so it's I really like simple things I think that if you stack really simple things you can make it like cute and nice and stuff so it is very very dainty and like, like, this is how it looks on my arm so I cannot wait to stack these Ooh, where did the thing go? I cannot wait to stack these and just wear them every day or something like that whatever I want to do and that is Ana Luisa. I think you should 100% support them. They are using recycled gold. And if you knew about how gold mining is affecting the society and everything, because I had to do a research paper on it, I feel that you would definitely support this company. While yes, it is great to look pretty and nice and everything, I think that you should also consider the environment. So why not consider the environment and try to make it better and look beautiful. Next, I have... I, oh, okay. Next, I have Zudo. Now, I love the people who started Zudo. Um, I think they have their story on here somewhere. Let me read it to you. Oh, okay. So, basically, it's by, okay, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but this is, they send this like little card that says, Our Story, and basically it's by Zuni and Ibrahim Nadim, and I believe that he, Ibrahim, yes, I be believe that Ibrahim Nadim, when he was proposing to his wife, Zuni, um, couldn't find one perfect piece of jewelry for her or something like that, and he decided to create an entire line, which I'm just like, this is such a like Shah Jahan, Taj Mahal type of situation, and it's so cute, mashallah, like I love it. And a couple months ago for Ramadan, I did do a video with Zuni and Ibrahim if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. They were one of the people that participated and just basically we talked about how we're dealing with COVID-19 and how to better ourselves and you know you're just at home all day you're probably sad and whatever and so they were really really nice enough to or they were really kind. My English is broken today guys but they were kind enough to participate and give their input on it and uh, if you just want to go ahead and watch that I think they're amazing people. I cannot wait to try out their brand. This is the first time that I've, I've gotten anything from them. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to do, wanted to mention, 
is this says, now we design pieces that are inspired not only by our culture and beliefs, but also support worthy causes. Through my academic research and our own lived experiences, we realize that our community neglects two very important issues, sexual violence and mental health. And so they definitely support those companies and I feel that that is wonderful and I am more than happy to purchase from them and see part of my money go to supporting those causes. So I got two pieces from them and this is my first purchase so I was really excited. Okay, so basically um, it comes with three stickers so this says God Vibes Only, Zudo, and this flower that says go grow through what you go through which I think is very true I love laptop stickers I, I literally like where's my laptop okay I will show you one day but I love laptop stickers and laptop stickers in the sense that like my case is covered in things that mean something to me so maybe you might look at a flower or you might look at a sticker sorry and be like that is a whale and I will be like I love vineyard vines it means so much to me <laughs> basically I just love things that mean so much to me so that's that's my laptop but I love stickers and companies that give you stickers with stuff that you purchase I'm just like yo thank you so much I'm gonna slap it on my laptop anyways um, so the first piece uh, it comes in this like velvety bag that I think is really cute and the first piece that I got is this Ola necklace that I think is, so I, so I already opened these guys, I was really, really excited. But um, I got this piece, and they also have jewelry that is, oh, they also have jewelry that is uh, metal with gold plating, and it shouldn't rust, and if it does, or something like the chain breaks or something like that, they have a lifetime warranty. And so this is the, this is the Ola necklace that I think is really, really cute. I don't know if it's upside down or anything like that. But I'm really excited to stack this and I think we see so many Ola necklaces in our life and I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen anything like this before. So I am so, so, so excited to wear this. Everything keeps falling. I'm so, so, so excited to wear this and try it out. So I'm just gonna put that back in the bag. And the second piece I'm very, very excited to talk about. Um, and I think this is awesome and I didn't even know that this was a cause so I think that is even more like eye-opening and amazing um, so basically this second piece is inspired by um, this organization called Islam by touch I think they did a collaboration actually there is a there is a card here it's called Islam by touch and basically they are helping produce uh, Qurans in Braille. So Braille is kind of like, you know, what's the best way to describe this? You know, the if you're in a classroom or in a building and it says, okay, this classroom is like 234 or something. And then kind of on the side of the classroom, there's like these this pattern of dots, that's Braille. And that's kind of to help blind people read. And so I think it's so awesome that they're trying to help support um, the cause to make Braille Qurans for blind people because everybody should have access to Qurans. And so this necklace says universal love and basically like, can you see? Yeah, there we go. So this this is the side that says universal love in Braille. Let me like bring it closer. Yeah, there we go. And then it like kind of says in Arabic, love, hub, 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 I think it's hub. Um, and so I think that's such an amazing cause and I, was, I jumped on it. I was like, we need to buy this because that is such an amazing cause to support. And I'm so glad it was brought to my attention because something more to appreciate today as well. And if you guys do want to buy from Zudo, I have a code. Yes, I do. I'm very excited to share it with you because I don't really get any codes and that's okay. But this one, this time I do have a code and I think it's... The code is MERS, M-U-R-Z-Z. -Z. I'm gonna like scroll it down here if you guys wanna buy anything from Zudo. Okay, and the last big thing that I got, the last big thing that I got, I up my address, is from Nominal, and they sent me a huge, huge, huge package. Not for fun, I actually bought all of this stuff, and 
I liked so much of their stuff that I got a second package because I kind of forgot that I wanted to. Or I didn't look through everything properly. But um, this is the nominal box, and basically, you just open it up. Open it. And so much stuff came in, so I got quite a few things. This is, this is what the box looks like on the inside, so <laughs> I don't know why. I, I have to like smile and check sometimes, like do I look okay on camera? Because I'm not wearing my contacts or my glasses, so if I look funky and then like it goes for the rest of the video, I'm not cool with that, so <laughs> yeah. Um, but basically I think that nominal Nominal does a very good job in coming up with ideas and creating jewelry and believe me, I have put some of my jewelry through the roughest times. I wore my jewelry to the beach in the hot sun, in the ocean salty water. I took a shower with it. I wore it for like four months straight. Uh, God knows what I did with it. And it has pretty much stayed very sturdy, didn't rust at all. If it does, they usually do give a cleansing cloth with it. I noticed that in some of their packages they don't give cleansing cloths, in some they do. I think they should give cleansing cloths for every purchase, every time you purchase overall in general, just because you do need to clean your jewelry sometimes. Um, and I will actually do a video, another video of Nominal versus Zudo because I've had some interesting interactions with the Nominal people and I kind of just want to compare their jewelry, although I have a lot more of Nominal. Um, and so I've had some interest interesting interactions with them, some very nice and some not so nice. And so basically I I only brought, bought from them, um, not only because their stuff was good, but because I decided to give them a second chance. Otherwise I had pretty much decided to boycott them because I just thought they were so rude. Um, and that that will be for another video, but I just today I just want to focus on what I got and I think these are all really good There's some things that I'm just kind of like Ugh, I might not want to keep it, but um, yeah, let's get started So basically nominal is a Muslim jewelry company and I think they've branched out to neon signs and home decor and merchandise like hoodies and now they also do hijabs and so they sell they give you their jewelry in this like velvety pouch and if you see like the thing simply just says nominal on it. Um, and so I'm just gonna open it up. And when I open it, I got this um, Pakistan necklace. And basically the Pakistan necklace says, remember me and I'll remember you. It's an ayah from the Quran. And so I can just open it up for you and show you what. So this chain is very, very, like nice too as well. I like that they've added this, um, they've brought this new chain. And one thing I really like about Nominal is that they give you so many updates. So when they're having a sale, they give you like an update, like quite a, quite a few weeks um, in advance, no, not a few weeks in advance, a few days in advance. And they like really, really post about it a lot and like hype you up about it, which is great marketing, but it's also like fun because you get excited. Um, but yeah, basically this is the necklace and it's a map of Pakistan. And if you can kind of see in the middle, it says in Arabic, remember me and I will remember you in the Quranic ayat. I, I like the jewelry because it helps me remember like, like I have another piece from them that I bought a long time ago and it says Allah is always with you. And when I wear that, I'm like, okay, yeah, Allah is always with me. So one thing that I like, like I like jewelry and then it means something to me. So sometimes when you just look it down at your necklace or your earrings or your bracelet or whatever, you're just like, oh yeah, it's like a reminder in life. And so the second thing I got, this is really, really cute, is this butterfly ring. Can you see it? I think you can see it. Oh, there we go. I always wondered why like people who made videos put their hand up, but now I'm like, ooh, this definitely helps you see better. But yeah, I got this butterfly ring. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention about Nominal, or I actually already mentioned this, but they also have a lifetime warranty. No, I didn't mention that. But basically you could put it through whatever the heck it is that you do with it on accident, you fell on it, you broke 
it's something like that and they will go ahead and replace it or fix it or whatever they do but you have a lifetime warranty on it if I didn't already mention that but I think I just did two seconds ago anyways this is the butterfly ring um and the next thing that I got is are these like simple earrings so ooh, the simple earrings um they're just like a stick and I kind of thought that would be nice to wear every day so I got these simple tin earrings and the third thing that I got is this moon and star anklet now if you guys are wondering because they did come out with um, bracelets and anklets so I try I was like oh okay maybe you if you just buy like an anklet it can serve as a bracelet and stuff no, the sizes are significantly different, so I tried putting an anklet on my wrist and it just kept falling off. So, um, if maybe if you have like a big enough hand and a big enough ankle that kind of match the same size, it would work out for you. But I think for me, it definitely doesn't. So, if it does for you, let me know in the comment section. I don't know, but it doesn't for me because I feel like there is a significant difference. And so, this is the anklet, and it's just like moon and stars and stuff. I think it's so so cute. So, yep, yippity dippity doo. I entertain myself because life is a real boring these days. And the last thing, the last thing that I got is this Mohsen. X nominal necklace. Now, if you don't know, Mohsen is a nonprofit organization started by Dr. Sheikh Omar Suleiman, uh, which I think is really awesome. He's done so much good for the Muslim world, so I think that's really awesome, mashallah. And I thought, okay, let's support this. And it's a really cute necklace, and it's really cute because they used the they used their new chain, so like the fluttery chain that I showed you for the Pakistan necklace, and then I think this this main center piece is very very cute. Ooh, it's making a shadow on my face, as you can tell, it is evening. Um, and so basically, this necklace says Allah loves those who do good, and that if you watch Omar Suleiman lectures, that is something that he says quite often. Is like in his lectures is Allah loves those who do good. So I felt like oh, this is definitely saying a good saying and I like I would like to remember it and stuff as you can tell I really like meaningful jewelry <laughs> um, and let me show you what I got from the second round of purchases when I went back and decided to get more um, oh I forgot to show you they sent these like stickers and I think that's so cute this is more like Thanksgiving -y. Thanksgiving E themed, which is nice. More stickers for me. And let's see. Okay, yeah, so same thing in the pouch. Now, the difference between, so that was all like necklaces, rings, and stuff like that. When I, when I purchased for the second round, I was a little confused because they just sent my, I bought an anklet and a bracelet, and they just sent it to me like this. Like this. I was like, is there something going on here? Um, because they usually, like, you, if you were say, looking in the previous things that I opened, it would be like in a card, in a plastic wrapping or something. So I don't know if this is just how they're giving away their inklet or bracelet, but I feel that they could do a better job with that if they would like. Um, but basically this is the inklet that I got. It is like a ball stone type of thing that I thought was really, really cute. And um, I think I'm gonna send this back because it looks a little dented. If you like notice here, I mean, you can't see it probably, but basically they have their nominal sign and it looks really, it looks a little weird. So I'm gonna send that one back and ask them for a new one, but I thought that was really like a cute anklet. And, ooh. and the last thing that I got from Nominal is this, twisted chain bracelet and so I thought this was like really really cute this actually reminds me of like Pakistani simple Pakistani jewelry and of course like that is real gold you know but um 
I just thought like, oh, this is very, very nice. And let me try it on my hand to see. But yeah, like, look, it looks so cute. So, so, so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, it basically looks really, really cute. And I like that. So I could definitely stack that with my Ana Luisa bracelets and stuff. But that is the last of the nominal haul, and I wanted to show you a couple other things other than the stickers that they send you. Um, they also send you, like, this card, which kind of is, like, an accumulation of their stories and accomplishments and etc. Um, yeah. So, basically, this is the nominal people. I don't really know their name. I think his name is Ibrahim, too. <laughs> um, the guy. Uh, and so I think... Yeah. Language, culture, connections, beauty, nominal. <coughs> they do a deed of the month. And so every month I think they get, they donate some sum of money to like a charitable, charitable organization from the profits that they make. Um, they have a lifetime warranty, which is, I think that's a great card. Um, and I think it's really funny in the back of the card that they say, ooh, can't see it. We're so confident in our products that every single piece of jewelry you buy is covered with a lifetime warranty. So go ahead, wear it in the shower and in the gym. No rust, no color change, no tarnish. Buy and gift with confidence. Which is, wow, that's like bold. I like that. <laughs> and then the last card kind of just shows like what social media kind of things they have. And um, I think they've been featured on Allure, Voyage, Phoenix, and Yahoo. Um, and oh known as like these were the titles I guess 10 Muslim owned fashion and beauty brands you need to know beauty and fashion brands give new life to self-expression poetic concise elegant our Arabic checks all the boxes for a beautiful image so yeah that is the end of my Black Friday haul um, it was a lot, but I think I, I'm happy with my purchases other than the things that I want to exchange or maybe return. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think, and I definitely did it all online and it was a different experience for me because I was the kind of person that was like, I will never do online shopping. I prefer to go to the stores and look at things and then figure out if I want to buy it. But it definitely after this year, I, I think I really like online shopping. It definitely saves you a lot of time and you can sit there and ponder for a longer period of time if that's who you are, this person you why I'm just like, buy it, not buy it, in and out of the store. We're clicking yes, we're clicking no. Like I don't like to sit there and think about it for five hours, but if you're that kind of person, it's definitely helpful because you have days to think about whether you want to buy something or not. And my online shopping experience was pretty good. The one thing that I don't like is that when you buy something and then you have to wait like a week or a certain amount of days um, before it comes. And so I bought it and I was like, oh, my packages are coming, my packages are coming. And they all like came the next week or the week and some the week after that. And so I was just so, so excited um, about it. And thank you for watching my Black Friday haul. Um, and I hope you got some inspiration about anything and if you think something is cool, definitely go and buy it. Let me know in the comment section. Like, Marian, that is so cool. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. And if you feel that I should check out another brand or another store or something, maybe in next year's haul or some other haul that I do in life, I will definitely go ahead and check out other things that you guys recommend because I'm here to share and I hope you guys share too so we can all share and just be buttes together and stuff, you know yeah anyways <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't please go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos and what is the last thing that people say to do i forgot oh comment yeah well i already told you to comment like a thousand times um see you guys in my next video which is either going to be doing makeup with my cousin in urdu or i will be actually critically reviewing and telling you about my experiences purchasing from Zudo and Nominal. And so yeah, have a great rest of your winter. If you are Christian and celebrating Christmas, have a wonderful holiday and Christmas break. And okay, I really need to end this video. See ya. Bye.